Hi friends, welcome back to Growing a Green Thumb. If you're new here, my name is Christy and I'm learning to grow a green thumb. So I do supplement a lot of the food that we have in our home by ordering from Azure. I order about 90% of our groceries from Azure. The other fresh produce I get from Aldi and I will do a Walmart grocery pickup maybe once a month. This is an Azure haul. If you're new to Azure, I have a playlist right up here. I'll link it for you so that you can watch my Azure videos and see what Azure is all about, how it works. Um, so with that, this all these groceries have been sitting on my table for the last week. It is Thanksgiving week, so let's get into this so that I can clear my table off so that Thursday we have a place to sit down. Let's go. The first thing I want to start with is my favorite plant-based chicken bouillon. These, this is the Azure Market chicken flavored broth. It is, there are, there's no chicken in here. This is a completely plant-based chicken flavor. I use this when I make my seitan wings. And I'm also going to be using this to make my very first seitan turkey for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna bring you guys along on that experiment and we'll see how that goes. But this I ordered three pounds of because I really do like this and I wanted to make sure that we had this on hand because if I do like that plant-based turkey that I make, I'm going to make several batches of it, put it in the freezer, that way we have it ready to go for freezer meals. Because making seitan, if you've ever made seitan, if you don't know what seitan is, it is a, it's made with vital wheat gluten and the strands of the gluten end up forming almost the texture very, very similar to the texture of chicken. So it's kind of a long process to make it. So if I make multiple batches, it takes just as much time to make it doing multiple batches as it does to do one batch. So I might as well batch cook out a whole bunch and have it in the freezer for easy dinners. We can slice it up and put it on sandwiches. I can slice it up and do kind of like a TV dinner, easy one meal kind of a thing for people to just grab and go. So for the three pounds of this, I paid $16.63 for three pounds of the chicken bouillon. The next thing we have is the Nature's Greatest Food Sweet and Condensed Coconut Milk. These are organic. They have two ingredients, coconut and organic sugar. This is obviously not a health food, but this is to indulge that sweet tooth during the holiday season when all the cakes and the pies and the yummy treats are out. You have something that's a little bit cleaner and a little bit healthier. We are gonna call this healthy, but it is healthier than all of the refined sugar treats. So I got three of these. I plan to make, I have three more in my cabinet already, but I plan to make fudge and I plan to make a few vegan almond joys. Um, and then maybe some other treats as I come across some recipes. But I thought that this would be a good thing to keep in the pantry for upcoming baking projects. So for the three of these, these are 7.4 ounces each. I paid $9.44 for three of them. Next up, I have the neem and tea tree oil uh, toothpaste. <laughs> I can get it out, I promise I'll get it out. This is by Desert Essence. It is 6.25 ounces. It is fluoride-free, SLS-free, gluten-free, vegan, and it is made with pure Australian tea tree oil. That is helpful, but I can promise I can, I can English today. So I have a confession, I have had all of this stuff sitting on my table here for the last week. So I busted this open because I decided that I wanted to try it out so that I could give you guys a review of this while I was going every, going over everything that I bought. And I do like it. It, I definitely felt like my teeth were cleaner after using this. I mean, it's a toothpaste, so that's what one would hope after using a toothpaste. The only thing that I can say is that I am used to 
a toothpaste that has a chemical whitener and brightener in it. And since we're trying to get away from the chemicals, I do feel like I'm kind of missing that. So one of the things I noticed on Azure is that they do have a teeth whitener. So I'm going to check that out probably next month and see how I like it. But I do like this as far as the toothpaste goes. I do like this. And this was only $4.86. It's a pretty big tube. Actually, let me pull this out and show you how big the tube is because I already put it back in here for this video. But you can see that's a pretty good sized toothpaste compared to some of the stuff that I've been getting in the grocery stores lately, especially the whitening ones. I feel like they're like half this size and $15. So this, this is the size of the toothpaste. Here it is compared to my head. But if you are in the market for a natural toothpaste, I do recommend this one. It's pretty good. Since I gave you the review of the toothpaste, I went ahead on to the next item that I've been trying out over the last couple of days so that I could give you my review on this while we went over the haul as well. It is the Crystal Deodorant Stone. I bought this because I had another natural deodorant in my cart and it was discontinued. I saw somebody on YouTube had added this to their haul, so it looked interesting, so I figured I would give it a try. The price wasn't bad. The price on this was only $5.54, so I figured, what the heck, why not? Let's try it. So now, here's how it works. You take the lid off, you run this stone underneath water, and then you apply it under your armpits. Gotta put the lid back on because I can't. Mm -mm. Okay, so here's my review. I don't like it. Mm -mm, not at all. Um, the stone took on the smell of my pits, and I'm not walking around smelling like a dead fish in red tide. I lived in Florida for far too long, and mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm not walking around smelling like that. The stone kind of had almost like a salt water smell to it, and then the pits got funky throughout the day, and I kept reapplying it, and I just felt like I was walking around smelling like a fish in red tide. It's November. I know that you're supposed to give your body time to acclimate, and I gave it four days. But I can't do it if it's November. It's not even hot outside. It's cold. And if I smell like a dead fish in red tide in November, what am I going to smell like in August? This is a no from me. I'm sorry. But good news is, is it was only $5.54. So because it didn't work out for me and it's a no, at least I'm not out a lot of money on a deodorant that didn't work for me. I did keep trying to reapply it because I thought, well, you know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Let me, let me put some more on. And honestly, all it did, the stone took on the smell of my funky pits. So even opening the lid on this, I can smell my funky pits in the stone. And I've rinsed it. So unfortunately, this is a pass for me. But I did want to give you guys an honest review of what I thought of this. And you can try it. If, if you like it, please leave a comment down below and let me know if I did something wrong. I mean, I don't think I did. It, it, the instructions are pretty simple. But maybe you have a trick to making this work. But that if you are interested in trying this, it's $5.54. If you don't plan on going anywhere for a week, go ahead and give it a try. But it was a no from me. All right. We've rambled on enough about this. Let's move on to the next thing. The next couple of things I wanted to show you are baking related. Though they're not food, it does make cleanup for Thanksgiving and all this baking season. It does make cleanup a little bit easier. And I don't have to feel guilty about the fact that I am being lazy. So I got this Paper Chef culinary parchment paper. It is a nonstick parchment paper. It is 100% biodegradable. And there are no bleach or dyes in the parchment paper. So sometimes when you go to the grocery store and you get that parchment paper in the grocery store, 
it, if it unrolls and it's white, that means it's been bleached or it might be brown and it could mean that they've dyed it. So this contains no dyes and no bleach. So I can feel better about serving food off of this parchment paper. This parchment paper is 123, it's a 123 square foot roll and it was $8.24. So we will probably be getting a lot of use out of this because, well, we have enough cleanup and dishes to do during this time of year. Let's make it easy. Get some parchment paper and it's on sale. It is still on sale right now. I have, the, I'll have the link in the description. So if you want to make your life a little bit easier and a little bit healthier by not using the bleach parchment paper, grab this while it's on sale. Another baking item also made by Paper Chef is the large baking cups. I got the, they are parchment paper. Again, same thing, 100% biodegradable and they do not have any bleaches or dyes in them because I will be doing a lot of plant-based cupcakes, muffins, stuff like that during this season. I got three. <laughs> I figure whatever we don't use, these can be used for freezer breakfasts, make some, make some extra batches, and then that way I can just put them into the freezer and we have easy grab and go muffins for breakfast. For the three of these, each one is a 60 count box. I got three of them. So it is. it was only $5.63 for the three and it, the sale is still going on right now. So I will have the link down below so that you can snag this sale too. I also got the little ones. So I told you I planned on doing some baking and these are the mini baking cups and they're also non-stick. So these, the mini size, they're great for mini cupcakes for small children. If you have a small child and you don't want to give them a large cupcake or a large muffin, these are a great size for a toddler, but these are also a great size for a plant-based vegan a uh, peanut butter cup or a plant doing a plant-based almond joy. So I told you I had some baking projects on my sleeve. That's what I bought these for. So these will be given as gifts and probably, let's be serious, probably a few in my mouth, <laughs> a few for me, a few for you, a few for me, a few for you. <laughs> How many of you guys do that when you bake? Okay, so this is a 60, was it 60? 90 cups, I'm sorry, 90 cups, and it was $2.07 for the mini cups. These are also on sale right now too. So I will have the link to these down in the description. I will have everything that I'm talking about linked in the description down below. So if there's anything that you see here that I'm talking about and you're interested in checking it out, look down below and you'll see the link. We can't talk about baking without talking about vanilla. Yes, I got a gallon of vanilla and we're gonna go through it pretty quick too. You'd be amazed how fast we can go through a gallon of vanilla. This is the Azure Market Pure Vanilla Extract. This is a four-fold vanilla extract. This is a Mexican vanilla. And what that means, if you've never tried a Mexican vanilla, it does have more of a floral undertone, which I absolutely love. I actually prefer a Mexican vanilla over the Madagascar because I think it gives it more complex flavor. So what I love about Azure, let me read to you off of the side of this bottle. This is what I'm reading to you right here in case you're wondering what I'm looking down at. It says fourfold vanilla extract. The key to vanilla, this full of flavor and aroma is the quality and quantity of the vanilla beans. This artisan fourfold vanilla features four times the number of grade A Mexican vanilla beans traditionally used in vanilla. Not only was this the first Mexican vanilla in the US, but every purchase helps support over 500 indigenous families in the region of Veracruz, Mexico, where vanilla first originated. So I love that every purchase goes back to help indigenous families 
and helps helps somebody. I feel like my purchase is helping somebody support their family. And not only is my purchase helping to support Azure, which is a small family owned business, and I'm not buying a mansion for big box store owners, but they give back and the money helps to support indigenous people. And that makes me feel really great about my purchase. So if you have, if you've never tried Mexican vanilla, they do sell this in smaller quantities. Please don't feel like you need to buy a gallon of vanilla. They do sell it in smaller quantities. It's just, I go through larger quantities and I like to keep this on my shelf. So I have a link down below where you can check out and get a smaller quantity. But for those of you guys who are interested in a gallon of vanilla and are wondering what a gallon of vanilla costs, it is $92. Now, if you are price shopping, compare a gallon of vanilla anywhere else and you are going to pay substantially more for your vanilla. You are going to be paying over $100. For vanilla, if you're looking at Madagascar vanilla, you're going to be paying closer to $200. So if you are looking for a gallon of vanilla, check this out. Try it out. Let me know if you do. Let me know what you guys think because I absolutely love this vanilla. And I, in my cookie business, I if you don't know if this is your first time here, I own a cookie decorating business and I use Mexican vanilla in my cookies as well and my customers rave about the taste of my cookies and I feel like a big part of that is due to the vanilla that I use and it's Mexican vanilla. So I'm letting you know my secret. It's Mexican vanilla. Did you miss it? The first 15 times I told you I'm plant-based? Hey, guess what? I'm plant-based. Let me tell you one more time. So jokes aside, because I'm plant-based, that means that we don't do dairy, so no butter. One, They do make a butter alternative that you can buy at the grocery store. And it has a lot of ingredients in it that I'm not okay with anymore. I used to buy it. In, it's in the grocery store next to the regular butters. But it has a lot of ingredients in it, like dyes and flavorings to make it taste like butter. The cost was also very prohibiting up until recently when your butter prices are now the same as the vegan butter prices. Now they're about the same. So funny how that works out. But I'm not okay with the ingredients that they're putting in there. And I'm not also, I'm not okay with the palm fruit shortening that they use. If you are buying the vegan butters, check into palm fruit shortening and the effects that it has on the rainforest. Palm fruit shortening is, they, they cut down the trees and they are unhoming thousands of animals a day by cutting down their homes and it's not rainforest friendly. So what I love about Azure Standard is that they have a rainforest friendly palm fruit shortening. This is the main ingredient in a vegan plant-based butter. So rather than buying the $4 block of butter, why not buy a four gallon pail of palm fruit shortening? So if you've never heard of palm fruit shortening, let me tell you what palm fruit shortening is. So palm fruit shortening, you can fry in it, you can grease your, your cake pans with it, and it's gonna be a lot healthier for you than say a Crisco. It also contains vitamin E and it has antioxidant properties to it as well. If you are used to using coconut oil, but you feel like the coconut oil has that strong taste to it and everything that you make with it tastes like coconut, this is a neutral taste and it's a neutral color. So you don't have to worry about it discoloring anything that you're making or having an overwhelming flavor to it. So what did I pay for this five or four pounds bucket of palm fruit shortening. So this four pound bucket of palm fruit shortening was $15.86. Just to give you an idea, I one box of a plant-based butter is half of a pound. And one box is anywhere from $4 to $7 for plant-based butter. So, I, I feel like I saved considerably by buying palm fruit shortening and using this as my butter alternative. So if you're new to palm fruit shortening and you've never heard of it before and you're using 
Crisco, but you're looking for a healthier alternative, check out Pomfret Shortening and check out the Azure Pomfret Shortening because it is rainforest friendly. So I highly recommend if you're going to do a Pomfret Shortening, do this one because it is rainforest friendly. Next up is Celtic Sea Salt. Though I don't normally do a lot of cooking with salts, salts do contain vitamins and minerals that you're not going to get anywhere else. So I do occasionally, especially in baking because salt does help to balance out the sweetness, I do add salt. So when I do use salt, I use a sea salt a lot of the time. So I have the Celtic sea salt. Um, I didn't get a big bag of it because I don't use a lot of it. I know you're going to see other Azure hauls where they buy 50 pound bags of salt. We're not, that's not our family. We don't really use salt. So this is a mineral salt. So it does have the vitamins and it has the minerals that you're not going to get in a table salt. So I do like that aspect of it, but I really, because we have a history of heart conditions in our family, I try to stay away from using a lot of salt. So I only got one pound of salt and this is going to last us quite a while. One pound of salt was on sale for $10.17. Since it's cold and flu season, I got, let me just throw it at you. Did you catch it? I got the organic rose hips. They are cut, this is cut and sifted. This is a four ounce package. This is so much bigger than what I thought I was going to be getting. So I was pleasantly surprised with the amount of rose hips that came in this. Rose hips, if you don't know, if you've never used rose hips, rose hips are packed with vitamin C. So you can make, you can put this into your teas. If you're a tea drinker, this is great in teas to help give you that immune support boost. You can also use this in your elderberry syrup, which is how I probably plan to use it. And because there's so much of it, it'll probably be going into some teas as well. But you can, what it says on here is you can add, and I hadn't even thought of this, you can add rose hips to jellies, syrups, pies, bread, and even wine. So we might do some experimenting because this was a whole lot more uh, rose hips than I thought I was getting for four ounces. So I might bring you along on some of my experiments with rose hips and see what we think. For this four ounce container of rose hips, it was only $3.92 and it's organic. I had to, I had to double check to make sure I ordered the organic, but you can see right here, it says organic. So we're going to be doing a few things with some rose hips. <laughs> this is a staple in plant-based cooking. This is cashews. This is five pounds of cashews. I get the cashew, the small cashew pieces because if I'm making a cashew milk or if I am making any sort of a cream, anything that requires like a cream sauce, um, a lot of the times you, you use a cashew cream in order to make that. Well, I'm putting it in my blender anyway, so why would I need whole pieces if I'm just gonna blitz it in the blender? So I save my money and get the cashew pieces. Five pounds of the small cashew pieces was $17.68. One of these bags will last, one of these five pound bags will last me two, three months depending on how many cream sauces we're doing because of Thanksgiving, because of Christmas, this will probably be gone and will be in my January order again. So if you see this coming up in my January order, you know that I did a lot of cream-based recipes. Um, I have ordered this now. This is my third five-pound bag of these cashew pieces, and I do, I really love them. Though it's not huge, I got five pounds of walnuts. I did get the walnut pieces. So this is baker's pieces. Just like with the cashews, I got the baker's pieces because it's cheaper to get the broken pieces than it is to buy the whole pieces. So most of the stuff that I'm doing, I'm going to be just using chopped up pieces anyway. So let's save some coins 
and buy pieces. And then when you have to, buy a smaller quantity of the actual whole walnuts. But I really can't think of anything that I would need a whole walnut for. I put this in my salads. I use this a lot of times in my plant-based um, beef crumbles. When I make my beef crumbles, I use walnuts in there as well. So five pounds of the raw cashew pe or <laughs> walnut pieces, excuse me, was $24.17. With your nuts, when you buy large quantities, I recommend keeping them in the freezer. If you have a pantry moth issue, like we do, they will ravage walnuts. They love walnuts for whatever reason. The pantry moth, the little wormies, love walnuts. I've had them find their way into the glass mason jars that I've had sealed up tight. I've had to go, I was doing glass mason jars for a lot of my storage and I've had to go to the um, OXO containers or OXO, however you like to say it. I've had to go to those containers because they are airtight. I am going to try to get one of those little devices that you can put over top of your mason jars to make them airtight. I am going to try that because I have a lot of mason jars and I'd rather not spend more money on the OXO containers. But just for precaution, maybe keep some in your pantry, but keep the rest of it, like the big bag of it, keep it in your freezer. It also keeps its freshness longer because nuts don't last very long on the shelf, especially broken pieces, because it is releasing oils and they can go rancid. I believe nuts are shelf stable for six months. I'll have to look that up and I'll let you know right here how long nuts are shelf stable for. But keep them in your freezer. It helps them stay shelf stable longer. So funny story with the next item that I got. We got married down in Florida in September and I made all the food for my rehearsal dinner. I was adamant that I wanted something that was plant-based, that was friendly to me, though I kept getting encouragement to do, just do a sandwich platter, just do sandwich platters from a deli, make it easy on yourself, don't, don't do all that. Well, by the time you take off the meat, by the time you take off the cheese, by the time you take off the tomato, because I'm not a fan of raw tomatoes, though I garden, I'm not a fan of raw tomatoes, I'll, I'll put down some tomato sauce, but you aren't going to get me to eat a tomato. I hate the texture of it. It reminds me of boogers. I, I can't. So I decided that I wanted to do poke bowls because I felt like it was something that was friendly to everybody and you could add what you wanted and you could take away and not put in what you don't want. So I had our, I brought down our entire bag of sesame seeds, black sesame seeds to use as a topping. Well, I didn't see them when we got home. So I just assumed when people cleaned up that they threw them away. Well, Brian found it in his car. It had slid underneath a seat. So we now have two bags. <laughs> of the sesame seeds because I reordered them because I didn't find them. So this is a one pound bag. So we're gonna be eating a lot of pickles coming up and a lot of Asian dishes, I think. So this one pound bag of organic black sesame seeds was $6.77. So the good news is it didn't cost a lot of money to rebuy something that had slid under a seat, but Money is money and I'd rather not waste it if it's something that I already have. I'd rather not double purchase it if I don't have to. I'm sure you can relate. All right, let's move on to the big things. This is a 50 pound bag of rolled oats. I do buy organic rolled oats because they are not sprayed with glyphosates. Glyphosates are known to cause cancer. There was actually a mass lawsuit from farmers to the company Roundup because they said that the Roundup was causing them to have cancer. So my feelings on that are if the farmers who are spraying Roundup on their fields 
one to two times a year, maybe three, depending on how they do their crop rotation. If they're spraying their fields with Roundup three times a year, but we're consuming these items on a daily basis, if they got cancer, we're probably gonna get cancer too. So I tried to do organic on anything that is harvested dry because when they spray those fields with Roundup, the purpose of that is to kill off all the crops so that they can harvest all of those dry things. So beans, wheat, think of anything that you would harvest dry. If it's harvested dry, then it was probably sprayed with Roundup and that would be something that I would recommend doing an organic version of. So this is 50 pounds of organic rolled oats. And I know that sounds like a lot, but I do use organic oats. I do use it, obviously, in oatmeal. I use it in a lot of baking with apple crisp and pear crisp, things like that. I use it in my bread. When I make my bread, I do a honey oat bread or honey... I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, honey oat, um, honey oat bread. So I go through a 50 pound bag. This does last us about a year. The last time I ordered ours was in um, December of last year. So since it's November, we're right at a little under a year. So a 50 pound bag will last us a year. This 50 pound bag was $61.90. Next up, we have the 50 pound bag of bread flour. This is an organic bread flour. So same thing with the glyphosates. Because wheat is harvested as a dry crop, I make sure we get organic. This 50 pound bag will be used, obviously, to make breads and pizza crust, things like that. So 50 pounds of bread flour was $65.95. So I make all of our bread from scratch. So this will probably, again, this will last us approximately a year to go through all of this bread flour. Next up, I have a 25 pound bag of organic juice carrots. So these are carrots that they sell as juice carrots because they are not a perfect shaped carrot. Some of the pieces might be broken and they can't sell them as a whole carrot, a whole perfect carrot. So they are sold as juice carrots and I save money by buying juice carrots. This 25 pound bag cost me $26.25. And last, we have toilet paper. This is Nature's Greatest Products Bamboo and Sugar Cane Toilet Paper. There are 40 rolls in this box. I opened it up already because I have never ordered this before, but I wanted to test it against the, de uh, the deodorant, oh my goodness, the toilet paper that we are currently using. So I did open it up and you can see I've unrolled it here. And I tested it, and if you are on septic, this is septic friendly. If you are on septic, this is a pretty good toilet paper. It's pretty soft. It's not as soft as some of the doubled up like Charmin's. But if you're on septic, you can't use the the double the doubled up rolls of um, Charmin. So because we're on septic, this I would say is pretty comparable to the Charmin that we are currently using. It is a two-ply. So it's not super thick. And it's not super thin. But I felt like it was pretty comparable to the Charmin roll that we are using. And I did a price comparison for 40 rolls of Charmin. And this was, I believe, 50. $15 cheaper on a, on the normal price. And I want to say because I got this on sale, I want to say it was $20 cheaper. Now, when I did this price, when I was doing the price lookup, that was like three weeks ago. So I'll be honest, I don't remember the exact totals, but you can look it up yourself as well. But it was cheaper than Charmin and it's made with bamboo. So it's not destroying any trees because bamboo grows so fast. This is a sustainable toilet paper and it's pretty good and the price wasn't wasn't bad at all for 40 rolls I paid 
$49.43. So, did you make it? Are you still here? If you're still here, that means you are ride or die for Ezra Hall videos like I am. Let me know down in the comments that you are still here and that you are a ride or die Azure Standard Haul video junkie like I am. If you are an Azure Standard Haul video junkie like I am, please consider subscribing to my channel so that you can see when I release my next Azure Haul videos. If you like Azure Haul videos, click on this link here so that you can see my playlist. Happy Thanksgiving.